Hey guys, Anthony here with a tutorial on how to add animated overlays to static images in FlexClip, a cloud-based video creation app with which you can create different types of videos using pre-made video templates or create videos from scratch. If you haven't yet, I'd encourage you to watch this tutorial on how to create videos in FlexClip. So I'm logged into my FlexClip account. And I already have a video project open here with several scenes which include static images and videos, as you can see in the timeline below. Let me go to the Overlays tab in the left side panel. And in this Effects Overlays section, I'll click on See All. And here, you'll find a variety of really cool animated overlays, some of which I will show you in this video. So. In this first scene, I have an animated text with a video background. Let's do a quick preview so you can see what the animation looks like. It's very simple. From this effect overlay section, I'll scroll down and use this one. And if I click on it, it will apply it to the current scene. Let's take a quick preview to see what it looks like. So as you can see, it adds a really nice cool effect. Similarly, in this second scene, I have a static image of the Toronto, Canada skyline. I'll scroll back up in this section. I'll choose this one. And it'll be applied to the scene. Again, let's take a quick preview to see what this animation overlay looks like. So that looks pretty cool, isn't it? On this third scene, I have a static image to which I'll apply a glitch animation effect. Again, in this section, I'll scroll down to the glitch animation effects, and I'll choose this one, and it'll be applied to the scene like so. Again, let's take a quick preview to see what this glitch animation looks like. On this fourth scene, I have another static image to which I'll apply the matrix animation effect. I'll scroll down in this section, and I'll choose this one, and it'll be applied to the scene. Let's take a quick preview to see what the animation looks like. Now on this one, I'll click on this button in the top right corner, which allows me to select the specific overlay. Next from this toolbar up top, I'll click on the blend mode, and from these options, I'll choose the hard light option. And as you can see, it has darkened the image. Let's take a quick preview to see what it looks like. So this, this one looks much better as you can see. Similarly, on the fifth scene, I've got a Bitcoin image. I'll scroll down in the effect overlay section and I'll choose this one. And it'll be applied to the scene. Again, I'll click on this button in the top right corner, and then click on the blend mode. And from these options, again, I'll choose the hard light option so that it darkens the image. And let's take a quick preview to see what this animation looks like. And as you can see, this looks much better. So hopefully you get the idea now. Similarly, on this sixth scene, I added this animated overlay of these animated hearts, which makes it look really nice. On the seventh scene, I added this smoke animation overlay to give this static image a really cool animation effect. To this eighth scene, I've applied fire animation overlay. And finally, to this last scene, which is a logo animation, I added this cool moving light animation effect. There are a ton of really cool animation overlays here, so feel free to explore them all, and then turn your static images into cool animated video clips. Now, once you're happy with the animation, you can click the export button in the top right corner to render the animation as an MP4 video or a GIF animation. In this showcase video, you can check all the animated overlays that I created in this tutorial. Well, hope you found this tutorial helpful. 
If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching.